Conflicting reports today, Jan.11, have led to confusion after a South Korean minister announced plans of a bill intended to ban cryptocurrency trading in the country. The country's Justice Minister Park Sang-kai said the decision comes in the wake of discussions and agreements between governmental departments, including its finance ministry and financial regulators. Reuters reported that Sang-kai announced the ban in a press conference, stating, however South Korea-based Telegraph contributor Joseph Young reported on his personal Twitter today, citing local sources, that the South Korean Ministry of Strategy and Finance does not agree with the proposal from the Ministry of Justice to ban cryptocurrency trade in the country. Young reports that a final decision has yet to be made. AS reported on Deck.25, South Korea set up a task force to create legislation for the rapidly growing crypto market in the country. Contrary to an outright ban, the body plans to regulate cryptocurrency exchanges as legitimate financial service providers and ban foreigners and underaged investors from trading on South Korean exchanges. Nevertheless, the minister's remarks led to a sell-off of cryptocurrency.The Bitcoin BTC, price in South Korea plunged 21% down to $17,064. This lower BTC price in South Korea is still far higher than the average Bitcoin price on can market cap, $13,501 at press time, which excludes South Korean exchanges, due to the divergence in prices of cryptocurrencies in the country. As of late December 2017, South Korea accounts for up to a fifth of global cryptocurrency trade. According to Reuters, an official from the popular South Korean exchange coin and said authorities regarded exchange operators in a negative light. Once again, word from correspondents inside South Korea is that the reports of a raid are not accurate and have been embellished by mainstream media outside the country. Young notes that local media are calling the raid an unexpected friendly visit. Another South Korea based trader noted on Twitter that the situation was a result of confusion both on the part of authorities and the exchanges themselves, who are reportedly willing to comply if given applicable legislation is put into place on the fiat side of things. On Jan. Seven local South Korean media reported that the country's authorities were planning to probe six major banks to look for alleged money laundering linked to cryptocurrency exchanges.